Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays the Darkest Dungeon. Last time, as you can see, Flambard, Seus, Meverell, and Bacalier went into the Weald, came back, threw down some fire, threw up some guard. My alarm went off. It's oh, We're all having a great time right now. Also, Fairfax got rid of Filcher, which means, I think, it's time to take Fairfax on a mission. Just trying to decide if I want to take him to the Warrens. I think I'll take him to the Warrens. You get a nice little collar for the exterminator. If we go here. But this is a level zero team. You know what that means. It means we don't give them much care at all. But I I, I feel like... I feel like I want to optimize this team a little bit more. We got uh, Bradardwine. Bradardwine. Uh, yeah, Bradardwine. Campbell. Fairfax. Fantosmi. It's, it's, I think it's going to be a good team. Can't go to the blacksmith, but we can check out the guild. So, Bradardwine comes with the Wicked Hack, the Iron Swan. Good, good group of abilities. Extra damage against bleeding targets, which is pretty nice. And apparently every attack has a chance to lower protection. Neat. Barbaric, yup. It's a double stun, but it lowers the damage and speed on herself. Eh, maybe. If it bleeds, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Also can lower protection. Breakthrough, you know, it's three enemies, can lower their prot. I don't know, with her being the main damage dealer of the team, because of course, yeah, easily has the highest damage. Um, Phantosmi, I guess, kind of close. Let's see, Adrenaline Rush, upset the damage and accuracy and bleed out. Used from the front against the front, does a lot of bleed to the front. And extra damage, so you know what, that might be worth keeping. The question, I think, would be if we want to trade out the yop, Trade out something for the yop. But I kind of think we don't want to. So let's move on to Campbell. Campbell's in the second position. So we won't... Probably won't need Lunge unless we get moved back. We definitely don't need Shadow Fade. Since the second position is her primary one. For this round, at least. Throne Dagger is always a good time. Uh, we won't need Poison Darts either. So I'm thinking we get picked to the face. Which should apparently buff her own crit chance, which is great. Flash and daggers, I think, is all be beautiful, though. Just beautiful, beautiful. And, you know what? Let's grab them all. Give me toxin trickery as well. So, we're going to swap up most of her kit here. Pick to the face. We're going to get thrown dagger. We're going to get flash and daggers. And the question is lunge? Toxin trickery? That's where it gets difficult, man. I think I'm going to go with lunge. The move up. I think it's our pr our best move. Fairfax, practitioner. Last time we took out a practitioner, it uh, didn't go well. It was, it was a bit of a whoopsie. Combusting talisman. Self-immolation. Hurts yourself. Adds damage reflection. Doesn't seem that great. Invoke Anenra. I mean, it is an all-team damage that cannot be slapbacked. And it can lower accuracy and healing. So I think I want to keep it. Bustling Gale. Knockback. Huge crit chance if an artifact of Serenity is in the inventory. Maybe. Maybe. Stress relief. Yes. Healing. I want that. What is this? Strike the Earth. Three uses per battle. Can stun two, both the front rows. Extra chance of stun chance if you have the right artifact. Now, we're going to take the healing instead. So, I guess the question is, do I want Bustling Gale? And if I do, what would I give up for it? I mean, I like the idea of having a knockback as one of his regular moves. And we're not fighting Yokai. So, and it has better accuracy. You know, I've talked myself into it. We're going to trade the Talisman for uh, Bustling Gale. Then the Invoke, then Call Mind, then the Remedy. Yeah, it should work. Phantosmi. Sniper Shot, definitely. Suppressing Fire, maybe. Those are some big debuffs. Sniper's Mark, mm, probably not for this team. Oh, I mean, Campbell could take advantage of Marks, too. Yeah, extra damage against Marked. Maybe. Maybe we keep that. Bola, I do like bullets, knockbacks. Blind fire, possibly. Battlefield bandage would be nice to have a second heal on the team. Hmm. Rallying flare, of course, ups accuracy, debuff resist, torch, clears stun, clears marked target. Definitely good in some areas, but here I, I don't know. We were fighting the swine, prince, god, king, maybe. I mean, almost definitely. Not even a maybe. I don't know. I think the Mark strats, strats could be really good here. 
since we have two people who could take use of it. But also, I feel like the bandage is almost a requirement. And she needs something to be able to use up front, you know, in case the worst happens. And in this case, it's, it's going to be Bola. Yeah, I think I'm going to take away the Mark Strats for now. Grab the bandage. Hope that works out for us. I don't know. Between Bola and Suppressing Fire, though, I'm having a hard time. I mean, you can't sniper shot the front row, but also Suppressing Fire doesn't hit the front row as well. Blind Fire does, though. So if we kept that, we'd still be able to hit the front row. Just realize all of her attacks, upper crit chance. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. This may not be optimal. But it'll be optimally fun. Okay. Let's try it. Sharkwalker, I, look, I was just about to go. I realize you got a ton of stress. Let's go ahead and get you taken care of. Okay. Hellion, let's look at... Wow, we actually have a couple trinkets for you. Selfish Pendant is like easy minus stress. Extra HP at the cost of stun resist. Where are we going? We're going into the Warrens? I think the Big Pig is the only major stunner there. I think that'll work. She's cowardly and ineffective, by the way. It's not great. Uh, well, let's check to see if we have any other unique trinkets for everyone else. Extra damage against Blighted. It's not going to help here. Fairfax, I think we got something for you. Yeah, debuff skill chance and extra HP healed. Well, the heal is definitely good. Uh, debuff chance actually works out too. Yeah, that's gr great. Fantabulous even. And I don't think we have anything unique for the Arbalest yet either. Okay, so back to the front line. Take a look at our Hellion. I would say we want to probably buff Hellion for just straight up slaps. So we'll grab Thunderblade. We'll grab... We're going to do a high torch run? Probably. So... What's everyone's dodge at? How does the freaking Hellion have more dodge than the Grave Robber? All right. And that's base dodge, too. I'm still going to give you the Sun Cloak, but I'm going to give the... Sun Cloak, uh, Camouflage Cloak combo to Campbell. Alright, what else? What else? I could sacrifice some HP. Which we do have extra, so... You know what? I could sacrifice some of that for Dismas's head. And then give her the box to offset the stress. And then she just has a ton of damage. Like, 9 to 16 is killer. And then maybe a little bit of armor piercing to boot. I don't think I want to sacrifice more speed, though. Not today. Not at this point in time. But maybe later. Could give extra speed, but I'm going to give that to someone else. Got to spread the good stuff around, you know? Okay. Campbell, you're next. Campbell, I like you. I like the Grave Robber, just in general. Let's give you a little bit of damage. Give you a little bit of dodge. And this also lowers accuracy, so that works out with this. Yeah, it gives her a lot of extra dodge. Even more dodge. Pack on that dodge. Alright, all the dodge. Lots of dodge. Tons and tons of dodge. Oh dear, that's a lot of dodge. <laughs> that's 30 without the uh, 25 debuff, so I think we're dodgy. Yeah, and then maybe, maybe an idol. Why not? Fairfax, I don't know what I would give you, man. I mean, you are squishy as hell. What a squishy fish. No one said to give you the storm cloak just to give you stealth. Which could help against the squishy fish. Or as the squishy fish, I should say. Hmm. You don't need stun skill chance. Debuff skill chance could work for you. Dodge could work for you as well. So I'll give you a little bit of it. But what else do you give a squishy fish, man? He's too squishy. Let's see. The lantern? I mean... Nah, we do have a couple of friendly skills, but I don't think we'd be using it. Maybe more dodge in the form of the candle. Uh, healing and stress healing. Because you do have both. And then maybe... I don't want to lower your speed by three for the tongs. Otherwise, it'd seem, it would seem worth it. 
I think I'm gonna give you the cloak. And then I'm gonna give you the life crystal. There you go. There you go. Same amount of HP, at least now you have a chance to stealth yourself. And that could be huge. Give you a little bit more of the gambler's charm. At least that puts you above 20. Now you're like on par with everyone else. I think that's gonna do it. Fentosmi, you're up last. I'm excited about what you can do. We're gonna give you the crescendo box. A little bit of speed, a little bit of damage, exactly what you need to bring to the table. In fact, I was basically saving it for you. Give you... Ooh, armor piercing and accuracy. Yeah, both of these would be fantastic. On you with your skills, the way they pay them bills. Still don't want the milk gland. You can't make me want it. Let's see, I probably don't want to have a chance of hurting ourselves... Even stress hurting. You know how it is. Yeah, I don't know what... I mean, we are going to the Warrens. We should have someone carry the Divine Fetish. Just in case. But other than that... Honestly, not really that much else to give you. It could give you damage. I mean, you already have no dodge. So what the heck? Why not? You know what? I'm going to say, since you have no dodge, it could give you the debuff skill chance, too. Why not? You're already sedated. Um, but yeah, that's a good chance of lowering accuracy and crit. You know, if we use uh, Bratterwine to do most of the damage, that could work out. That could work out quite a bit. Let's go get a bumper crop. All the food, all the shoves. Uh, yeah, um, maybe like... 16 torches. Yeah, we'll try with 16. Uh, some anti-venom, sure. Some bandages, sure. A key, yeah. Some herbs, definitely. Laudlum is usually tempting, but I think I'm gonna skip it and just grab the books. And let's go! Alright, the swine's armies are often led by a swine centaurian. They love that tooltip, even though I think I've only seen the centaurian like once. This run so far? Possibly? I don't remember. I mean, they're uh, interesting enemies when you do see them. But yeah, let's see if we can get a practitioner to actually live through an entire dungeon. Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Steal their food. All right, ancestor. This is a good and noble mission to steal food. All right, there's a pit. We got 90, 50, 50. Well, I mean... Good work, Campbell. Easy breezy, beautiful stress relievey right off the bat. Can't complain about that. Ooh, double scout. Yeah, baby. Yo, and another trap, too. All right. We've stolen some grain. Yo, if we're just stealing straight up grain, are the... Are the pigs down here making bread? Do the swine know how to bake bread? Because, like... Yeah, grain by itself has some nutritional value, but... You gotta really do something with it to turn it into something special, you know? I really want a scout here. It'd be really nice if I could get a scout here after this fight. Oh, there's a tunneler. Alright, see if we can get that wretch out of here right away. Fairfax, you're up first. Go ahead and... Go ahead and slap them all. Well, no. But, well... Hmm. Go ahead and hit the tunneler. See ya. Well, that was a neat move. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, I'm tempted to hit them all, but slap them. Maximum damage. And then we can go for a single slapper right here. 11 damage, and then, to tie it all together, flashing daggers for the win! Confidence surges as Good enough! <laughs> Alright, that extra damage. Ooh, the crit builds, too. Oh, that's neat. I like the idea of these Unchained heroes, that they get stronger as the battle goes on. I mean, you're still encouraged to finish the battles quickly, in my opinion, because these guys are tough. Oof. That's, uh... That's a lot of blight. Probably should have brought more anti-venom. Fish is like, what the heck, man? Why would you do this to me? Pick to the face. Give them no Thanks for the 1% crit. Okay, well, let's go ahead and throw down a remedy. Cures bleed, but we don't have that. Still a pretty... Yeah, that's a reasonable heal. If and I do say so myself, and I do because I did. 
Go ahead and slap them all. All right, minus 15 accuracy is a big deal. That's a bigger deal. Iron Swan to your face. Take you out of the race. Let's go! Holy crap. Been doing it. Artifact of Faults. Seize this momentum. That's a mun, son. On to the tasks end. Any of these upgrade with that? Ooh, extra healing! That that it for this one? Yeah, that's it. That's okay. That's still cool. In theory, I think I'm supposed to open everything with Fairfax. Oh, of course I don't get a scout here. Eat my feet. Alright. Come on, brigand treasurer. How's this for a treasure? Hoping for a little bit more, honestly. Well. Some extra dodge. I don't appreciate it. Get him. Ah, oh, no! Disgusting slime! 55% chance, yeah. I, I get it. I hate it, but I get it. Yo, can we knock him to the back? Would that even be useful? I don't think it would. Yeah. Suck some Enenra. Enjoy your minus four accuracy. Well, at least that, that looked like it was minimum damage, which means it was also maximum frick for you, at least. Let's go, Campbell! Maintain the offensive. I don't feel so good. Give me that heal. Now the heal is solid. That's good stuff. Ow. Yeah, fish is dying. Fish is dying quickly. Lower that accuracy. Send that accuracy and crit chance into the dirt. And then, you know what? Give me a bleed out on this guy. Good damage. Good bleed. Three round debuff, that's fine. Brain of whips. We've been whipped. And I hate it. It's a lot of stress. Give me the flashing daggers. Masterfully executed. That then. Would flash again. Don't quote me. Uh, go ahead and heal yourself, please. Like how six health is like 30% of him. Beautiful. And then slap, and he's done. Has no intrinsic merit, Serenity. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. So, extra stress healing skills. Also, that 40% crit chance. Also, a ritual dagger for the air. Yo, we're getting paid in the shade today. Nah, I ain't bringing any holy water. Ah ha 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 ha! That's what I thought! Trying to trick me by not giving me a scout. Staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. You jerk! Nice try. Is this usable? No, I don't think it is. Yeah, it was highlighted. So for some reason, my lizard brain thought it was usable, but like, all of the usable items are not highlighted, unless so they're able to purchase. be used at that moment. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Ten, ten. Would disarm again. Hey, a book. Let's take a look. Ooh. Reading Rainbow. Heck yeah. Debuff skill chance. That works. It's just what our fishman needs. Hello, pigs. We have fish. How you doing? All right. Let's not start with the end. You know what? Let's call mine. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah. That's the Zen stance. We oh, my God. That's a lot of stress relief. Dude, that stun was totally worth that much stress relief. Good lord. I know it was probably not the most optimal move, the double slap, but it was too tempting to not use. Alright, let's uh, bleed this boy out. Beautiful damage and a 10 out of 10 dodge. That's what I'm talking about. Aha, you missed our fish. Aha, you missed me. You suck! You suck too, please. Ah, it didn't suck. But that's okay. Minimum little boost of damage. Oh god, they're so fast! I don't appreciate it. As the fiend falls, nice. Faint hope blossoms. No, that was totally worth losing a turn for. Continue the onslaught. It was a ton of stress Destroy relief. Them all. Go ahead and, uh... Go ahead and flex on the haters here. Meat cutter again. 
I mean, what else is he gonna do? It's just... It's kind of his thing. But please understand, I'm trying to let you bleed out. Or just die, that works too. Thanks for just dying. Success so clearly in view. Clearly! Or is it merely a trick of the light? You know what, let's grab some, the rest of the curios. I want to see what's... Oh, ho, ho, ho! Artifact of Fervor, that is double damage to Enenra. What do the other ones get? Uh, Self-Immolation gets extra damage reflection, so it'd be 65%. And Strike the Earth, Artifact of Faults gives it extra stun chance. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We have them. We have all of them. And we see how they work. And also, you know, the 1500 gold is uh, nothing to sneeze at. Unless you're allergic to gold. Then I would imagine you'd sneeze at it to plenty. That would be unfortunate, though, wouldn't it? I would say imagine being allergic to gold, but at this point, I just imagine there's an allergy for everything. I I can't say I've seen them all, but I've heard of them all. Let's go ahead and calm ourselves. God dang, that is such a good move. Like, the stress is like 100% worth it. Nice pick to the face. Good damage, and the pull forward, too. That'll do! That must have hurt, yeah. It kind of blasted her into, like, 20 pieces. I'd say it hurt. Nice try. No bleeds today. Ah, frick. I really thought that'd get the kill. Five rounds of minus prot. That's pretty good. That, uh... But Ish really goes through the... Goes to the protection. Oh yeah, Pick to the Face is no longer armor-piercing with this redo. Kind of a weird move. Kind of. Oh, yes, baby! Didn't really have a comment, I just... I just didn't expect that to wreck. Nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I mean, we're definitely making muns. You can see the muns flowing in. And this team is killing it so far. And the killing it will cease very soon. Uh, I feel like... Oh, God! Life is pain. I hate this, um... The move back is... There's not a high chance of it. You know, just go for the stress relief. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, hit him. Oh, God! How the heck did all of us go faster? I'm mildly confused. Oh, God, no! That's too much. Ugh. Well, there's some disease resist. Good job, fish. Not bad at all, fish. Ugh, so close. Pentosmi could wipe them all out in one move. Well, both of them. Maybe. Maybe. I think you'd have to do max damage on the wretch to do that, but... Uh... That is a long-lasting bleed. I say we use the bandage here. Get the kill. Feel the thrill. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Alright. Dodge it! Hey, there it is! You go, dude. Dodge it! Hey, there it is! You go, lady. I mean, there's a small chance of the kill. Let's go for the big chance of the kill. Get them out of here. Get- Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank you for continuing to dodge. You seriously need healing. I don't know if you knew this. Alright, let's go ahead and pick them. Let's go ahead and heal us. Thank. Oh my god, dude, they have a dodge of two. What are you doing? Ratterdwine, please. Oh my god, she is a dodging ninja over here. Ooh, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Right where it hurts. Right in his leeching ads. Beautiful. I feel much safer now. Inspiration and improvement. Oh yeah, baby. That was the real stuff. Ah! Fish no dodge good. 
Fish no dodge, good. Heal him. Especially since he can't hit the front row with anything but the one move anyway. Nice damage. Beautiful work. Let's uh, hit him with a pick. Cool, cool, cool. Look at these buffs. Perfect. Get our Zen on. Yeah, I get it. I understand. Look at that. Plus six crit chance. That's actually kind of huge. Also, extra damage against Mark for one battle, but, you know, that's not that big of a deal. Go ahead and heal our fish. Keep him alive. Rattered Wine's up front. Boom, baby, get out the way. <laughs> Boom, baby, get out the way. Flee, animals, you become my prey. But a victory, nonetheless. See, I used it. Um, trading bacon for citrine is not a good trade. I'm uh, never going to use the Omomori here, so let's go ahead and throw that out. Grab the citrine. Get ourselves a good scout. Oh, that was a good scout. Curio, Curio, Curio. Quest location. There's the end. Look, I want to fight this fight. <laughs> okay. Don't even at me. I should be allowed to fight fights if I want to fight fights. You can feel the double damage on the move. Less healing received is unironically good, though. Alright. That was some damage. You did it, lads. Oh, pretty good, but not good enough. We're probably gonna go for the single target on the witch. Acolyte, whatever you want to call yourself. Dead, that's what I like to call you. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh no, it's the unholy cure! I have no idea why you used that. It did literally nothing. Nice dodge. All right, we're a bit out of position, as you can see. Doesn't stop Campbell from picking to the face, though. Doesn't stop Fantosmi from shooting. Doesn't stop you from stumbling, which is a trash move. And it doesn't stop... Okay, maybe it stops Fairfax from uh, bursting Gale. Nice dodge. I bleed for the thrill of battle. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Alright. Yo, Campbell's being a frontline champion right now. Didn't even see it come. Wow, that was great damage. Uh, yeah, now it's time to move forward. Um, up, up. Beautiful. Look at the zero blocks. Do not crit me, I swear to God. <laughs> I will be so mad at you. <laughs> Boop. Alright. This team does not have real deal heals, obviously, but I'm still loving them. So too will resistance. We already got the lantern, so I guess we don't need to keep it. Yeah, that was smart. Good job, Fett. The smartest man. Um... So, a minor antique is worth more than two citrine, but it seems like it's pretty rare right here in this particular location to find a bunch of antiques. I think I already have one of these daggers, so I think I'm gonna throw this out. On the off chance that I can get more stuff. Let's freaking go. Let's get some more food. Then let's eat the food. Then let's freaking go! We've eaten all the food. And then we'll freaking go. I don't really want to give up anything here, but the gold is worth so much. I guess I'll give up anti-venom, then find a whole party of blighting enemies. Because that's just how it tends to go. Because frick me, I guess. All right, let's head towards the quest location. Get the heck out of here. I'm not worried about whatever this curio is. All right, what do you got for me? Books? I already took a look. It was in a book. We got our reading rhombus. Hello. Nice. This should be a good one. This should be put away relatively quickly. Hopefully. Surprised we didn't get the crit there, but all right. You do you, I guess. Love that accuracy buff. Love the max damage slap. Love the double kill on the first round. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. 
I don't want more of that, though. Alright, well, it was great until you... Uh, oh, okay, it's great again. Never mind, it's all great. <laughs> Things are great. Life's great. Thank goodness these Remind stack. Yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Remember, everybody, overconfidence, something, something. We win every time. Oh, there's a fight in this one. And it's a... It's a high damage fight. They're all concentrated on damage. That's all they do is damage. They slap. They have no other skills. This is a risky move, but I'm playing it anyway. Get the debuff. You dodge the first hit. Beautiful. And then everyone else gets easy dodges. Because their accuracy is lowered. You see. Please understand. Oh my. Oh dear. Looks like you're gonna die. Beautiful. Now they're minus 19 accuracy. Fantabulous. Oh no, not the meat slap! Oh right, the plus 60% HP. Ball and chain. Ah, oh, Fentosme and you negative dodge. I mean, it's understandable. She has negative dodge. I just said it. There's a kill in the back row. I'm feeling a ton safer right now. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Butcher cut. Dodge it. You're done. You get one more. The chopper gets one more move, and he's done next turn. That just leaves the meat. This is your only move. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Damn it. Ah. Nice dodge. That's all right. We got... You know, get out of here. We got freaking... Okay, heal yourself. This is not the order I expected us to go in. We got Fairfax here. We got our moment of zen. There you go. Just get out of my house. I don't have to wait for you. Oh, good lord. I mean, it's free accuracy. We're... We don't have any room for deeds. You know what? Throw out the, uh, medicinals. Tempted to throw out the shovels, too, since I don't think we've used one. But, I mean, just from the artifacts alone? That's 9,000 gold. What the heck? Eh, we're gonna keep going. At least for a little bit. Have you seen this team? Hey, princess, have you seen this team? Also, study table back there, and I definitely want that. 100%. Princess has a lot of health. I don't know if I just never noticed that or what. But the, uh, the princess is a healthy lass, apparently. Uh... Yeah! Ooh, the buffs! Nice! Protection buff on everyone. I love it. Ooh, the damage! I love it! And, of course, we were leaving them with the blights, but that's fine. What's one or two blights between friends? Especially when paired with zero damage. The prot and crit are pretty bad, but, you know. What are you gonna do? Oh my god, he done it again. He had done it again. And, of course, I didn't bring... Eh, you know what? We're fine. We're fine. That's not a lot anyway. Uh, what do we got? Mysteries of Force, Locksmith Secret, Red Secret. I think this one is closest to being completely upgraded. Cunning, Strength, and Agony are the three roots of victory. And here is our secret doctrine. Look at this doctrine! Oh, dear! Time to slap a bunch of believers again. Hmm, a thousand cuts. That's a lot of extra damage on him. That's right, he final sacrifices. You have to keep that in mind. He's gonna blow himself up eventually. He's not the one I'm most concerned with, though. Honestly, the, the summon is. Okay. Mm, summon has a lot of prot. I'm also concerned with the seer, of course, because of the stress. So I think the order we take them out in is summon or seer. Either one of these would be first, honestly. And then the pawn and then the assassin. Like, that's the ideal order, I think. Behind the veil is a stealth buff, and I hate it. 
Good dodge, though. I love that. Okay, what's our chance of a kill here? Uh, zero. Okay, one. <laughs> our chance of a kill is one. Not the malignants! Oh my god, we've been revelated! Okay. Brandwine, I think I'm gonna have you just go after the pawn at this point. Let's go ahead and keep... Keep N running. Yeah, minus 40% healing received. Yeah, that's right. Garbage heals. Boom! Oh, dang it. Just hoping for a little bit more than that. The dodge keeps coming and it won't stop coming. Maximum damage. Love it, love it. Want some more of it? Not my heart. Not today, Satan. Here, Satan. Have a pick. Ah, I was hoping to use the high... St the high, uh... Just do this. I was hoping to use a high crit chance to kill him. That's okay. Oh, that's right. You got slapped back right now. That's okay. Doesn't seem to be that effective anyway. Pick him. All right. Uh, let's get some healing. Just a little bit of extra. Please dodge. A. And then a little bit more healing. And then a little bit of slapping. And then we're feeling good. Edge. This expedition at least promises success. Plus 25% damage received. On miss, self, extra stress. On attack hit, mark self. But on attack, give damage. And on hit, give crit. So the damage goes up no matter what. Plus 25% damage received, though. Still kind of tempting. On Campbell. But that's a lot of extra damage. Needless to say. I want to see how it buffs, though. So we'll probably do one fight with it before we leave. It's our first food proc, by the way. Not a big deal. Alright. Free torch. A fine reward. Can I see what's at the end of this? Come on, move up just a little. Ooh, we did not bring holy water. Oh wait, we, that's medicinal herbs. That we we gave up our medicinals. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be another one. Nope, it's not. What you got for me, baby? Heck yeah, baby! More fish, more artifacts of fish, fish effects, if you will, and then the good scout. Secret room. Ah, nards. Go down here since there's no fights or anything. Just open stuff up. See what's going on. Hey, how you doing? People keep leaving their packs about. It's okay, I'm getting artifacts out of it. What happens if you bring an antiquarian and a practitioner to the same quest? Do you get both? I don't know why you can't. No, well, actually... Can you pick them both up? Post battle, you can't obviously pick them up from curios since only one per one of them picks up the curio at a time. But if you can get them both post battle, I mean that was just that was just free. That was amazing. This is kind of nuts. Give me an easy battle. This is not an easy battle, but it's a doable one. Okay, so remember, this will give 5% extra accuracy, but what does it give for damage and crit? Two rounds, 25% damage, four rounds of extra crit. Okay, that's good stuff. That is good stuff. Uh, we could hit the Hashish with the Enenra, but my problem with that is that I don't want to hit the Zerker with anyone but our strongest. So let's get some stress relief to start us off. Okay, we've not fought the Hashish yet, apparently. Or at least if we did in the past, uh, we don't see his skills. Them debuffs are damn good. Uh, bleed him. Oh, baby, baby! Did not get the bleed, but I don't care. We got everything else. Oh, dear lord. And extra damage against bleeding for a couple rounds. That was amazing. And that uh, restoration is nothing. 
All right, the heal is something. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, these buffs! It's okay. We're fine. We'll kill him this round and we'll be okay. Uh, give me the flashing daggers. A powerful blow. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Hard to complain about that. Oh, dang it. Your speed. With your speed! Stop shocking my fish with your speed. Uh, get the pig pole. That thing's gotta go. Because, one, it keeps healing, and two, when it's the only one left, you use this flies to the rot, which is a bigger problem. Actually, no, that's not a problem at all. It's just gonna give us, uh... Yeah, it doesn't even stress. Why am I worried about that? Nice dodge. Enjoy your debuffs. Actually, pick to the face. There you go. He done! Then give him a little bit of a... A little bit of a gust from the gods. Alright. Ah, oh, well, I, like I said, it doesn't matter. Oh, man, it's just... Just a tiny bit of damage. Didn't even get the, uh... Didn't even get the blight. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Why am I camping? I have no stress. Well, maybe maybe there's an item to get. Uh, there's no stress. Prevent nighttime ambush, please. Somebody. Artifact. Yo, 1500 gold. That's why I'm camping. Major Omori. I mean, why not? I'll take it. Nice brushing you got there. Very cool. All right. Give us a little bit of a sub. Not a surprise boost, a speed boost. Scouting chance is not relevant. Revel is kind of just terrible. Give me some stress resist, I guess. And then hope that we don't get a. Hope we don't get an ambush. Oh, hey, you know what? Field dressing. Failed. Good job, Fentosmi. We're done. The promise of Woo! safety. That was amazing. These foodstuffs yield double benefit. The town may eat. Oh my god. That was like a boss's worth of treasure. Got like 37,000. What the hell? Level one for everybody. Immovable. And on yielding. On yielding, of course. No. It's not fantastic, but it's always good. <laughs> surrounding farms as yet untouched by the spreading calamity. That mission was absolutely ridiculously good. I just want to see what you get on upgrades. We're not going to do it right now. Obviously, we'll do it on uh, camera next time we take any of these um, nice folks out. But let's see. Damage against bleeding goes up. Damage against bleeding goes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, extra heal, extra buffs. No extra bleed yet. Okay. But extra accuracy, of course. Campbell. I assume it's just... Yeah. Just accuracy and crit. Accuracy and crit. Flashing daggers. Accuracy and crit. All the way down. Extra dodge. Extra stun chance. Uh, extra damage gets marked. Which is nice. Mm, actually, extra blight from poison darts. Cool. Fairfax, you're... You're interesting. Right now. Uh, extra accuracy crit, as usual. Extra damage against Yokai for the Talisman. Okay. The Anenra? No extra damage, but extra accuracy and crit chance. And extra debuffs. Okay. Okay. Uh, crit and accuracy, of course. Extra knockback chance. Extra stress relief on yourself. Okay. Okay. Extra, yeah, slightly extra heal chance. Oh, but extra heal with the artifact. That's cool. That's cool. That's kind of what I was most interested in. Was to see if that was going to buff up. And then, of course, you know, extra debuffs, extra accuracy, extra damage against marked targets. All the usuals for Fentosmi. Uh, actually, that's a really good upgrade for Battlefield Bandage. Higher minimum and higher maximum. 10 out of 10. Would want again. Nomad Wagon, what you got? You got some ancestrals today. Nice. Mustache cream. 
Signet Ring, which is pretty good for uh, defense. Withered Remains. I could just buy this. Apparently, it's a Sunward-ass trinket. I could buy it. Less damage taken from Eternal Plague. Healing only from Restoration. On death, everyone gets uh, full stress relief. Interesting. And Blight and Bleed Immunity and no... What's the downside of this trinket? Healing only from Restoration, I guess? But she has a Restoration move. And there's like a ton of other Restoration heroes. Like maybe if you only had the Eternal with vanilla heroes, this could be bad? But we got the Scarecrow. We've got others. It's, look, my brain is not uh, like uh, high octane right now, okay? Wow, Blight, Stun, Chance, Speed. A little bit of extra stress, but still really good. The Stone Bird for the Scarecrow. Double damage against birds, but also 15 accuracy for 4,000? That's a steal. What about the Withered Remains, too? That is a straight-up steal for 4,000 buckaroonies. Alright. Shrekwalker got some stress relief. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Not a, not a lot of it, though, unfortunately, but he got some. Yeah, I think keeping the two sun cloaks has been 10 out of 10 for us so far. Stagecoach, anything new? Account, Shield Maiden, Crusader, Leper. Do we have a Leper? I'm tempted to say we don't have a Leper yet. He chops! Extra damage against Blighted. Ooh, that's new. Okay. Oh, but he's ignorant. Well, we can we can beat that out of him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, extra damage against Blighted, less Blight resist to the enemy. That's interesting. Okay, okay. Hugh can give a Blight now. Huh. Purge. Knock back as normal. Clears enemy corpses as normal. Okay, and then at minus Blight resist. Revenge. Damage. Accuracy. Crit at the cost of dodge and extra damage received. Okay. Withstand. Prot. Blight. Bleed, debuff, and move resist. Solemnity, heal and stress heal. Intimidate, so knock back. Okay, so Hugh and getting a blight is the big change. And I'm just kind of like, what? What? Huh? Well, okay, I guess. This man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same. Yeah, reflection can't come with him. Instead, it comes from needles and straps. That is going to be it for this episode of that Plays the Darkest Dungeon. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more because it'll keep coming and we'll stop coming. Till next time, thanks for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video, everybody. Yeah.